teach you how to write a song in one hour or less. When you only have one hour to write a song, sometimes it's better to focus on a formula or a process rather than feelings. If you're new here, I post songwriting tips, ukulele tutorials, originals, and covers. So if any of that interests you, you should definitely subscribe. Before we get started, I've made you a songwriting cheat sheet, which I'll link in the description box down below. The cheat sheet is a step-by-step -step guide that includes all of the notes from this tutorial, various chord progression ideas, and fill in the blanks. So that way, every time you want to write a song in an hour or less, you can print out the cheat sheet and fill it out and you'll be good to go. In order to write a song, we need three things. Chords, lyrics, and melody. Step one, choose your chords. C, G, A minor, and F are all popular chords that are used in many songs today. The chords go very well together, and so I'm gonna use those four chords throughout the entire song, but every time I get to a new section, whether it's the verse, chorus, or bridge, I'm gonna change the order of those chords. Why would I change the order? Every time your listener hears a new change in the chord progression, or chord order, they subconsciously know that the song is transitioning into a new section. So my chorus chord progression will be C, G, A minor, F. Now I'm going to reorder them. So verse one and verse two will have the following chord progression. A minor, F, C, G. And again, we'll reorder the chord progression for the bridge. F, G, C, a minor. So now choose your chord progression and write each of them down for the chorus, verse one, verse two, and bridge. Feel free to use the same ones as me if you'd like. When you're writing a song in such a short amount of time, you don't want to spend too much time on something like a strum pattern. I'm going to use down, 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 down up. Step two, write your lyrics. The first step to writing your lyrics is choosing a title. The key here is to keep it simple. My song is going to be about staying positive, so I'm gonna choose the title, Smile. Next, I'm gonna write the chorus. My chorus is gonna begin with the title of the song, and I'm gonna go on to repeat the title at least three times total. Why? Repetition in the chorus will help to get the song stuck in the listener's head. That's a good thing. This means they'll wanna come back and listen to the song over and over and over. My chorus will be four lines total, with three of those lines beginning with the title of the song. I'm gonna have lines one, two, and four start with Smile, the title of the song, and then line three will be completely different. I'm going to write for line one, Smile, smile, every day and night. Now I want line two to rhyme with the first line, so since line one ends with night, I'm gonna think of my rhyme before I actually write the second line. So for line two, I'm gonna write, smile, smile, things will be all right. Now since the third line is completely different, I don't have to rhyme, I don't have to have it have the word smile in it, so I'm gonna write, Hard times come and hard times go. And now we're at the fourth line, which I'll start with smile, and I'll also have it rhyme with the third line. So I'm gonna write smile, smile, joy will show. So the formula I used here is having the title of the song begin lines one, two, and four. I have the first and second line rhyming with each other and the third and fourth line rhyming with each other. Now on to verses and bridge. By the way, if you don't know the difference between a chorus, bridge, and verse, I have a video that will explain the differences and I'll put the card up here. My verses are gonna be four lines each. Before writing my verse lyrics and bridge lyrics, I'm gonna take some time to decide how each one will differ from one another. A lot of times people can get stuck in a rut of repeating the same focus in each verse one, verse two, and bridge. So it's nice ahead of time to say, this is my focus for verse one, this is my focus for verse two, and this is my focus for the bridge. One method is to have verse one be about me, verse two be about you, and the bridge be about us or we. And so I'm gonna write down verse one, verse two, and bridge, and next to each of those, I'm gonna write down my focus. My rhyme scheme for the verses is going to be line two and line four. For line one, I'm gonna write, each day I'm so grateful. And line two, I've been given more time. Line three, dark clouds come my way, and line four will rhyme with line two. So I'm gonna use the word shine, which isn't a perfect rhyme, but it's close enough. But I can see the sun shine. Okay, now verse two, we talk about you. For line one, I'm gonna say, if you're filled with worry. Line two, you don't have to fear. Line three, you're brave, strong, and able. And line four will rhyme with line two. 
So I'm gonna use the word tear, tears, not tear, and I'm gonna write, there's no need for tears. The bridge's focus is on we or us. So I'm gonna do two lines and I'm gonna have each line rhyme with each other. Line one will be, we can be a light. Line two, shining oh so bright. Now, my last step with the lyrics is adding one or two words at the end of each verse and bridge that will lead into the chorus. For example, verse one, each day I'm so grateful I've been given more time. Dark clouds come my way, but I can see the sun shine. Now, if we went straight into singing smile right after that, it'd sound nice, but I think it'd sound even better if we said, so I smile. Going back to the end of the verse, dark clouds come my way, but I can see the sun shine. So I smile. Now on verse two, if you're filled with worry, you don't have to fear. You're brave, strong, and able, there's no need for tears. Smile. That works well, but I think I'd like it even better if it went, you're brave, strong, and able, there's no need for tears. So, smile. And then on the bridge, we can be a light, shining oh so bright. Smile. But I think it'd be better if it went, we can be a light, shining oh so bright, when we smile. Moving on to the melody. I'm going to start with my chorus melody, and I'll make sure that my chorus melody starts on a high note. La, 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 la. That note. Why? Listeners will subconsciously know that I'm entering into the chorus whenever they hear a high note. This is because most popular songs do this today, and it's what people are used to hearing. Next, I'm gonna make sure that each line in my chorus that starts with the title of the song have identical melodies to one another. Smile, smile every day and night. Smile, smile, things will be alright. Hard times come and hard times go. Smile, smile, joy will show. So did you notice how my third line was different and lower? Hard times come. For my verse melody, I'm gonna keep lines one and three identical to each other and lines two and four identical to each other. I'm also gonna make sure that the entire verse melody is lower than the starting note of my chorus. Each day I'm so grateful I've been given more time Dark clouds come my way can see the sunshine, so I... Did you hear how lines one and three had the same melody and lines two and four had the same melody? We're gonna apply the same thing to verse two. If you're filled with worry, you don't have to fear. You're brave, strong, and able. There's no need for tears. On my bridge, I'll keep lines one and two similar to one another with maybe one note change at the very end. We can be alive, so when we smile, smile. So on the first line of the bridge, I ended it with And on the second line of the bridge, I did So the first line went down on the last note and the second line went up on the last note. All right, so that's all I'm gonna teach you for today. I hope it was helpful. Please tell me in the comments below if you feel inspired and motivated to write. And if this is something that really interests you, you should definitely check out the cheat sheet because it has all of this information laid out in a way where you can just fill in the blanks. And if you forget why you're supposed to do any of this stuff, I have little notes on the side that will give you helpful reminders. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. <laughs>